Speaking of winter, we're in the middle of it now, and we really haven't had that much snow this season, let alone a blizzard. I'm going to talk about the last blizzard in our area and just how rare it is for them here. Odds of a blizzard across the Wabash Valley are only roughly about 2%, so very rare. Blizzard criteria is defined by visibility reduced to a quarter of a mile or less and 35 mile per hour or higher winds for at least three hours. Also an interesting fact, you don't need to have snow falling to have a blizzard. If snow already on the ground is blown by 35 mile per hour winds and visibility is reduced to a quarter of a mile or less, you have what is called a ground blizzard. The last actual blizzard in this area was the blizzard of 1978. The last near blizzard conditions were on December 26, 2012. The blizzard of 1978 started on the afternoon of January 25th and lasted through the morning of January 27th. The wind chill dropped to negative 55 degrees, which was the lowest wind chill ever recorded here. Wind gusts hit 55 miles per hour on January 26th. The first ever blizzard warning was issued for the entire state of Indiana back in 1978, and this storm still stands as the worst snowstorm slash blizzard in the state's history. And snow was hard to measure with the wind, but there was about 15 inches recorded, and we had snow drifts as high as 20 feet during the blizzard of 1978 here in the Wabash Valley. And Dana, you were saying that you were in 